Hey everyone, what's good? Welcome back to Vasquez Fields, our Planet Coaster console park and recap build series. Ty Eleven's here, and today we are putting the final shops and rides into Vasquez Fields. No! I know, I know, it's sad, but as sad as it is, it is also much more exciting because I've never finished a park in this game before, and really, I've never finished any sort of project like this before. Games like this are incredible in that sort of way that you can spend months at a time crafting something entirely from the ground up, just straight up out of your brain. I love it, but also it's exhausting. <laughs> there will surely be a break after this for me, but stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe here. Follow me over on Twitch and TikTok and all over the place, and we'll do some more fun stuff soon. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's jump right into where we left off. Last week, we added in our final premiere ride with the RMC Hybrid Coaster, so now we just have a few gaps to fill in. So we had about three or four areas scattered around the park that needed some extra loving. We had the space behind our coaster's retaining wall from going under our pathing. We had the small space right across from our new coaster. We had some small space in the way back of the park and we had the back corner of the park behind our dark ride. In two of these spots, I had some very quick and easy ideas of how to fill them up. For the space across from our coaster, I felt like even though it was a limited space, it was still screaming for another flat ride. We got one of the smallest rides in the game into that space, covered up most of the ride flooring with our own design, and then created a simple but detailed queue line design that blended well into both our theme of the Main Street warehouses as well as the forestry area of the RMC coaster. This would likely be another one of those old carnival-like rides that the park has had for years, but that they just maintain and reskin every so often. Nearby, behind the retaining wall, we had a strip of empty space alongside one of our paths. So this felt appropriate to be another line of shops. We would need quite a few to take up the whole area, but as the park has grown, the amount of notifications I get for thirsty guests in this game has skyrocketed, so it'll be fine to have a few more of these. I had seen a lot of great inspiration photos from Google Images and Knott's Berry Farm for these lines of Old West buildings that are all their own separate buildings, but are still all connected wall to wall. So I decided to plan these out to be just like those. But I also ended up using that style for the shops going into the small space at the back of our park that we needed to build. Back here though, I made it feel sort of off the path to have it act as its own shopping center. This one came together fast in my mind, so this is probably the finished product for these that you're seeing here. Love the variety that you get back here though, as each building has its own unique style and detail to it. I especially loved making the sunken in window with the small garden in front of it for this one. Also over here is actually our first and only restaurant in the park. I figured if people make it to the back of the park, they can sit down for a nice meal before making their way back. I designed it to just be a bit more of an elegant Old West building than what else we have in the park. And the outdoor patio seating area isn't actually functional, but looks great with these custom benches. And finally, we come to the back corner of the park where we have always planned to have another fairly significant ride. I weighed a lot of options here, and while I would have loved to work in a kid's coaster or maybe a log flume, neither of those would really fit comfortably back here and still leave room for the amount of detail I wanted to get in. I knew that I wanted this area to be our part of the park solely focused on the sci-fi elements of our park's theme, and so if I couldn't work that theme into a small coaster or anything like that, the next best thing for me was to have a solid flat ride that could exist at least partially within our skyline. After considering a few rides, we did a vote in the Twitch chat and ultimately landed on this ride called The Forge. I got that to fit in nice and snug in there and then added in some more pathing to craft a layout for what will be our full sci-fi area. And then, as you can see, I began to add in some of the details here to try and spark ideas for the theme. I think a big reason I never really got too heavy into the aliens of our park wasn't only because I felt like there weren't many sci-fi assets to use, which is true, but also because I didn't have many points of reference for any of this. So I did something you should take no shame in, I talked about it in the first episode of this series, and that's to check out what other people have done in the game. I took a few of the scenery blueprints that are in the base game, laid them out, and stole little set pieces that I liked. And then I did the same for some small things I found on the Frontier Workshop from other creators. I would change some small stuff about them to fit them more into the style of our park and to blend them into the areas, and then could use this as a jumping off point for my own creations after learning unique ways to use all of these pieces. 
So now, with all of that down, let's get more of this filled up and polished off. We still had a little bit of space left over by our new shops and restaurant, and instead of just filling it in with foliage or anything, I thought it could be a bit beneficial for us, and in line with the realism of the park, to add in another staff building. Up to this point, we've just had two, with one in the front of our park, and then one in the middle of the park. So, to save some time for staff members that would be back this way, I built this fairly inconspicuous western-styled building that would be simple enough to blend in with the theme of the park, but to also pretty clearly be only accessible to staff and not to guests. We also got this row of shops done. We had the entire ice cream shop done in the last part, but we can talk about it here instead. I wanted to have one of the buildings be built with these adobe styled walls. And I like the idea of the multitude of windows for an ice cream shop, as you would likely order in the middle and then retrieve your orders from one of the side windows. Next to that, I did the easiest kind of shop that you can do in this game, a closed one. This may appear as lazy or uncreative, and that's maybe true in some small part TBH, but I also had the idea and actually love the level of realism that it adds. When you're at a real theme park, there's usually a handful of shops and rides that you catch that are closed down for the day or the season or whatever. So I thought having just one shop to represent that reality in our park would actually be a great touch. The last two shops sort of seem together, on the corner we have an actual entrance to a candy store where I did a minor interior, but while the building next door isn't actually accessible, it would likely be an extension of the candy store, offering the guests the ability to walk in to go shopping. But if there's one thing that us console players lack, it's enough items to build fully detailed interiors like that. So we just have to use our imagination here a little bit. And finally we have our full sci-fi area with the completed and fully skinned ride. The style that the entire area started to take shape in was this sort of gritty and messy sci-fi world. The park's lore would likely be that this is the deserted area that these crashed aliens ended up taking over. So for our queue line, we did some sci-fi fencing, but then a whole bunch of different futuristic looking supplies and piping for whatever they would need to hunker down with to stay alive on Earth. It sounds pretty nerdy, but I'm into it. And then it was just all about making sure the rest of this area felt full of life. Plenty of rocks, foliage, and terrain paint help to craft a unique area for the park and make the views from these paths just absolutely lovely. And to help fill up some substantial space, we got a few more shops in here. I wanted these ones to feel like western buildings that had actually been invaded and adapted after being taken over by the aliens. So I started with some of the pre-built buildings in the game but then tore them apart and worked in tons of new details to blend the western and sci-fi styles together nicely. And the results are actually very cool in my opinion. Appropriately, this whole area would definitely be the latest edition of Asuka's Fields throughout its history. I went ahead with selfishly calling it Area 11. I imagine this area would be loved by kids, families, teenagers, and adults all alike as it's just so neat and the highlight of the park. But with all of that said, ladies and gentlemen, Vasquez Fields is complete. I truly cannot believe it. This was an incredible journey and I have so many people to thank, including all of you for tuning in along the way. We finished it off with 68% on the counter, so we did an incredible job with our piece count really. 260,000 pieces though, almost 1600 buildings, 10 rides. I started this venture in February and now here we are. I have one more episode planned in this series where I'm gonna do a full tour of the park I'll be doing it on stream and bringing it over this way in an edit, so stay tuned for that. Let me know what you think in the comments though. I'd love to hear about anything you had questions on throughout the series or any thoughts you've had on our park's build. The Planet Coaster community, by the way, is so strong and has been so helpful to me along the way in so, so many ways. So a big thank you to all of them. This game lives on only because of them. I personally think it would take the miraculous arrival of a planet coaster 2 to get me back for another park build but i'll surely always be a mini park guy either way for now though that's all we got i'll see you soon on the final episode of Vasquez fields until then take care of yourselves and i'll see you on the next one